In this problem, we have two mixed numbers, and we're going to subtract them. So the first thing we want to do um, is maybe find a common denominator for the fractional parts. So here there's a 15, and here's a 3. So if you take 1 third, and you multiply it by 5 over 5, that'll do it. Because we're basically multiplying by 1, so this will be really 5 over 15. So now we can just erase this and call it 2 and 5 fifteenths. The reason I did that first is because when you subtract, you want to make sure that this number here is bigger than this number here, whenever you have mixed numbers. If it's not, you have to rewrite your first mixed number. So now we're okay, right? The 11 fifteenths is bigger than 5 fifteenths. So now you write them down in a column like this, 5 and 11 fifteenths. And then here we have 2 and 5 fifteenths. I'm going to draw a line like this, and then I'll put a minus sign. So then what you do um, is you just subtract the fractional parts. So 11 minus 5 is 6, so you just get 6 over 15. And then you subtract the whole parts. So 5 minus 2 is 3, so we have a 3 here. The last thing to do is maybe realize um, that we can simplify this. Uh, let's see, 3 goes into um, 6 twice. So this is 3 and 2 over, and 3 goes into 15 5 times. So we get 3 and 2 fifths as the answer. I hope this video has been helpful.